take 365. What's up? It's your girl Victoria Payne, also known as the Osemite Sam in the Skirt, coming to you with episode two of Photography Goals for 2020. First, I want to give a big shout out to my girl Sheree Moore of She Trucking. Thanks for this shirt, Ma. I'm going to put the link down below so that you can connect and buy you some merch and support those ladies of trucking. So today's episode is entitled Learn to shoot in manual. Anybody out there still shooting in auto? Anybody shoot primarily in manual? Anybody go back and forth between the two? Um, I will go back and forth or 90 manual, 10% auto. I do a lot of studio work. Studio work is um, a lot easier to shoot in manual and to learn how to shoot in manual because you have the ability where you know the environment that you're in is not really changing that much the lights are the same the walls are where they are the ceilings not moving the floor is where it is you can sit your tripod up on I mean your camera up on the tripod grab your remote and kind of just play with those settings Nine times out of ten, clients don't mind when they feel like you are taking the extra mile to get their photos right. Um, I could say probably I used to rush through sessions because I felt the need to rush through sessions. So I would rush through a session, take a hundred photos in an hour just to deliver the client a quarter of that because I didn't like most of them. When I found out that um, if I took my time and used that hour wisely, you know, I got 25 great pictures that I'm picking through to deliver clients half of those. So, you know, it was a it was a big learning experience. I would say the one thing that um, kind of threw me off about shooting in manual was the exposure triangle. Um, ISO, shutter speed aperture threw me for a loop i even bought that book with the title i got a cheat sheet down here understanding exposure by brian peterson i got through the first page is sitting at the studio as decoration because i could not make it through page one it was probably the most boring thing that i have ever read in my life i did flip through it though and look at the pretty pictures um, literally what I had to do was plug my headphones in and play videos, YouTube videos, explaining how to work the exposure triangle and jot down notes. And it was literally me taking the same note over and because everybody says the same thing over and over and over again. I would just jot down the same thing, jot down the same thing, jot down the same thing, practice, of course, pick up my camera practice it. If I didn't quite get it, it headphones back in, jot it down over and over again. And so one day it just kind of clicked. I really didn't see what the big, I really still don't see what the big deal is about shooting in manual. Um, I do know it gives you much more control over the image that you produce. Um, auto to me has limited functionality. So because the camera's trying to assess and pick what's the best shot for you which was good when i was shooting with my handy dandy sl1 that i love so much because it was like this big and i got small little girly childish hands so it it was perfect it fit um i mean to, to me with my sl1 and my kid lens i was producing some amazing content uh, not because i'm the world's greatest photographer but because i knew what I wanted the photo to look like and you know I shot then I upgraded to my handy dandy 5d mark IV, which is my baby which is actually what I'm video on right now and my go-to which is the 24 to 70 and it, you know the 
Mark IV is a little bit more complicated than the SL1, a lot bit more. A lot more functionality when you get into that menu and scrolling through your settings and getting your camera set up how you want it to be set up. So I had to deal with um, learning the exposure triangle and I just said one day I'm going to learn how to shoot in a manual because I'm in a lot of photography books, um, excuse me, photography groups on Facebook, um, black female photographers, ladies behind the lens. Cole's Classroom, and there's probably another one, Digital Photography, um, something another. I'll put the links down below. That I'm in these Facebook groups, and I hear everybody talking, and I look at their photos, and I mean, they just make some amazing content. And I wasn't judging myself against them, but I wanted to be better because even the things that I saw them post, every time they post it, they will get better and better and I wanted that same chance to get better and better and how do you get better? You learn. So what did I do? I expanded, expanded my horizon. I went, um, like I said, 90% in manual and to me it has made a world of difference. Um, it's, you know, people like bulk us all the rage now when you have that nice dreamy background and you know the the picture right here is is tack sharp and the one thing you of course need to be focused on is the eye well when you're in auto nine times out of ten your camera is going to pick the nose because the nose is the closest thing to the lens well when you go into manual you can force the camera to actually pick the eye as the focal point get it tack sharp and then that sharpness wraps around. So it's one of the perks of actually shooting in manual is to be able to just have a little bit more control over the photos that you produce and to be able to produce better content. Um, a couple of my favorite photographs that I follow on YouTube are Jared Polin of Fro Nose Photo and Jessica Kobieski with her nice soft voice because she makes some really nice pictures. Um, so, I guess I challenge you, if you are shooting primarily in auto, I challenge you to step it up in increments. 10% manual, 90% auto, and every week, just keep going up and keep going up and keep going up until you're 90 to 100% shooting in manual. Tell me if it makes a difference. Tell me if you absolutely hate it. Any way I can help you become a better photographer, I definitely will. So, let's recap. Week one, we did try something new. Did you try something new? I'm still here. I'm back for round two. I can't believe it. I think I put this off um, as long as I could because I'm actually supposed to drop this video tomorrow. Like... I found every excuse in the world not to shoot this video even as of today because my mic's battery is dead. It's dead. Can you hear me now? But you know what? Said I'm going to shoot it anyway. If they can hear me, they can hear me. If they can't, it's cool because I'm cute. That's okay. But, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Trying something new. I'm back and I plan on coming back every two weeks throughout the year. So... Try something new, learn to shoot a manual. Let's implement these things throughout the year, guys. I mean, I'm learning just like you guys are learning because even with doing the topics, I have to do a little bit of research and remember things I've read and um, YouTube videos that I've watched to be able to reference to bring back to you because like I said, I want us all to be better photographers at the end of the day. I definitely appreciate you tuning in today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for the notifications, and we'll be back for episode three in two weeks. Thank you. Come, come, come.